Get your decade ahead horoscope now at NadiaShaw.com. Hello, fabulous Leo. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of October 2019. Looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out for us right now. And it is a month like this that asks you in particular to cultivate a more philosophical stance, to look at the big picture and to also look at what it is that you believe. And it is ultimately belief that is going to open up wild luck and opportunity for you. It may not feel comfortable right away as you are asking yourself some very meaningful questions, especially mid month, but that energy will give way to a positive turn and exciting outcomes. So let's take it one at a time. As we start this month, you're still working with the energy of late last month when we had the new moon. And so that new moon uh, covered a part of the sky that has to do with synchronicity, among other things. And so you'll find that energy especially high, along with a strong communication bend as well. You are likely going to want to be talking to people and having random interactions that end up being very meaningful. But as we move towards the middle of the month, uh, right around the 13th, give or take a day on either side, depending on where you are on the planet, we are going to have this month's full moon. This full moon happens in fellow fire sign Aries, and part of what makes it distinct is the way in which it is connecting to other planets. Now we've got this incredibly helpful, expansive energy, thanks to a supremely harmonious connection with Jupiter. Now this I absolutely love for you. It is Jupiter right now that is also in a fellow fire sign in Sagittarius. And as we start this month, we've got two full months to go of this transit of this energy. And it is this full moon that's gonna help you to make the most of it. It is also this part of the sky that is connected to long distance travel, immigration, citizenship, higher learning, legal matters, political matters. And so all of these can be areas of great blessings. Now, in order to get to this very expansive energy filled with possibility, as part of the wisdom of the sky, it is possible that um, some motivation arises out of challenge, or out of feelings of discomfort. And that is because this full moon will be speaking in conversations of tension with Saturn and Pluto. Now, both of these planets right now are moving through a part of the sky that has to do with your daily life. For example, your workplace and the people who surround you there, the type of work you're doing. It also has to do with your habits and how well you take care of yourself. This can be very powerful because ultimately what this is saying is you are looking at your ideals and how you live and whether or not they match and ultimately being led in a direction of honoring your heart, honoring your passions. And when you do that, when you honor that instinct, wild luck opens up to you. But it is when you're asking yourself those difficult questions that you actually are aligning with that more prosperous uh, possibility that is indicated here. Because this part of the sky is connected to coworkers and immediate supervisors, it is possible that it feels as if one of these people or clients or customers is in some way challenging what it is that uh, you may believe or you may think. So here's the thing, you know how they say it's best to keep uh, conversations about religion and politics out of the sphere that you want to maintain peace in, right? Uh, that's the kind of energy we have here. And so at least where it comes to your workplace uh, or your clients or your customers, you may decide to uh, consider how much you want to talk about that side of yourself. Of course, it's always up to you to decide what is right for you in light of your unique circumstances. But just know that it can be at this time that you're asked some interesting questions, maybe some difficult questions as well, that ultimately though, lead you on a pathway. And by moving through those feelings of discomfort, you actually end up aligning with even greater possibilities, opportunities, and happiness as well, thanks to all that beautiful fire energy blessing your life. Now I wanna add as well, and I don't often say this, but the way in which this full moon and Jupiter are speaking, I would say for just about every fire sign out there, it might be a good idea 
to buy a lottery ticket at that full moon. You'll have just that little bit extra to have things go in your favor. Now, as we navigate towards the end of the month, right around the 28th, we will have this month's new moon. That new moon will be taking place at the very bottom of your sky, the foundation of your chart. And this is a part of the sky that is connected to matters of home, it's connected to family of origin as well. Your past, your understanding of where you've been and where you come from and all the things that bring you to this moment today. Now, it isn't just about the new moon though. There's a lot going on. Mainly, it is going to be within days of that new moon, right on Halloween actually, that Mercury will go retrograde. And so it is all of this month and all of next month into mid-December that Mercury will spend an unusually long time in this part of the sky. Now Mercury retrograde, I might talk more about that uh, as we go along next month or at the very least as we go along week to week, but here are some things uh, to consider in the light of this new moon. This new moon is standing across the sky from Uranus. Mercury is growing in power as Mercury slows down to a standstill in the same part of the sky. So we've got the surprise element, the quick moving energy of Uranus, along with another energy that's saying, slow down, stop, reconsider, okay? So here's the thing, where it comes to buying, selling, moving, new roommate, it may be that very quickly some opportunity does arise. For some, it's gonna feel like a breakthrough and a really lucky break. For others, it is going to feel as if there are some mixed feelings around this. However, all may not be as it seems. Of course, you have to trust your life and trust what shows up for you, but it is possible that there are some uh, key details that are being overlooked. And so where it comes to things like renegotiating or renovating, right? Anything with a re, ultimately, that's what Mercury retrograde is good for. And for you, repairs as well happening at home can go very well. But if it feels as if there's something brand new showing up, where possible, try to pace yourself in that regard. And where it comes to a matter having to do with your family of origin, particularly your parents, where that applies, it can be at this new moon that you find yourself wanting to spend more time at home, however it is that you define that and with your family of origin. And so if that is the case, that desire may come up very much by surprise and you may follow that and that could end up leading to all kinds of new perspectives on your family but on your past as well at the very least chances are home is going to become very quickly a more active place it's also a very powerful time to connect with people from your past that mercury retrograde is only going to amp up that energy and so it is very possible that as we move towards the end of the month you may find that people that you once knew pop up right about now for a reconnection. Now, where it comes to matters of love, some of this may show up in love as well, the sense of reconnecting with people from the past. That is because Venus is gonna spend a lot of time here uh, this month. And as Venus moves through this part of the sky, and especially as we move towards that new moon, it is love and the past that seem to be coming together in powerful ways. For those of you open to meeting someone new, it is very possible you could connect with somebody or rather reconnect with someone that you knew before. New connections are also possible, but if they are new connections, there's some connection to either what you consider home or some connection to where it is that you have been before or whom it is that you have known yourself to be before. So sometimes, and we all define home very differently, uh, for some people it's a neighborhood, for others it's a city, for some it's a country or an ethnicity. However it is that you define that, it is those very people where there seems to be that much more love possible now. For those of you just starting to date someone, this can be a time when you learn more about their past or you find yourself wanting to reveal more about your own past as well. Uh, and again, where you've been. For some, this is going to be uh, the past in terms of the different things that might have shaped you as you were coming of age. But for others, it can be your childhood uh, that is being discussed as well. Now, ultimately, this is part of knowing this person more deeply, whether you are sharing or you're receiving information. 
but there are going to be some key moments here where we do want to be a little bit careful, a little bit mindful of this. But for all that, it is going to be a time when you are considering whether or not you can truly lay down roots with this person as part of moving forward. For those of you who are in an established bond, you know, when we have energy like this, especially increasingly the later in the month we move, it's very much about closing the door, having very private time, private space, spending time alone at home together and creating a sacred space together as well. There tends to be an energy here where it's not so much about talking about things and understanding things, but rather it is about the energetic bond that the two of you feel and ensuring that you continue to maintain a safe space together. What I love about this month for you, well, look, there's so much here, but I am going to say it's got to be that full moon in the middle of the month. Yes, there are some challenging connections playing out here, but I do think of all the zodiac, it really is the fire signs, and that includes you who are going to do most well with this. But for you in particular, my goodness, there is simultaneously with energy that you're uh, working through, there's also a lot of fun here. There's a sense of knowing who you are and your heart and your instincts and self-trust that is especially strong now. And chances are, if it is that you choose to cultivate that sense of self-trust, well, your instincts will lead you in a direction of at least one seemingly wild game. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.